You have to remember that that in the CMBS bond world, you can look on the Bloomberg screen and it's in real time, but that's not how real estate actually works. And I'm always reminding people that April 1st, which was what, you know, three and a half weeks ago, was the first period of collections during Corona, right? This is new. This is completely new. Uh, and we were saying in the middle of March, hey, kind of ignore April collections because they're not going to be really indicative of how deep this crisis may be. Uh, and May and June are really going to be better telltale signs. So, you know, and again, on a micro level, on, on some of our multi where demographics are off the charts and household incomes are, are, are all, again, off the charts, we had 92% collections. Uh, but then on some of the, 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 the lower end multifamily stuff or the, the rent stabilizer rent control, you know, that number was significantly less. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. And, and real estate is like turning a cruise ship where, you know, especially the stuff that's in CMBS, you don't pay for 30 days. They send you a little nice reminder. You got 60 or 90 days, they send it to the special servicer. Then they onboard it and they're going to order their valuations. And at that point, you know, the, the, the special servicers or the repo guys are going to say, hey, we need updated values. Uh, and, and getting updated values today is a tricky thing because no one knows how to value anything right now. Uh, in terms of appraising assets, because there still isn't clarity on the medical crisis side. Uh, and until that happens, I think that it's going to be um, a tumultuous time to try and you know, pick and choose your spots uh, without that clarity. And again, we think that that's probably late summer or, or even beyond.